And then third, praying in Jesus' name means praying in a way that's consistent with God's will. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we have asked of him. So for our prayers to be answered, they must be within the will of God for us. So I come to God with a prayer request. And the thing I need to realize is for that prayer to be answered, it has to be inside the will of God. And no answers from God come to us as a result of our requests being outside of the will of God. And so when I ask for something that is not God's will for me, I get a no from God. Because I've had people say, oh, I don't really struggle with that. The requirement that only ones that God will answer are the ones for us in His will. If you were praying and you found out that the thing you were praying for wasn't God's will for you. So, here's the will of God and prayer answers are in it, but your prayer request is outside of that circle of God's will in your life. Alright, so you're praying and all of a sudden you realize what I'm asking for is not God's will for me. Let me ask you this next question. Would you still want it? If you're praying for healing and God says, no, my healing is for you to die and go to heaven. You see, when we pray, the will of God has to be accomplished. Now, the reality is that God's will is ultimately what's best for us. Psalm 18.30 says, As for God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is flawless. He is a shield to all who take refuge in Him. Romans chapter 12, verse 2, Do not be conformed any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you will be able to test and prove what God's will is. Notice how God's will is described. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Do you know that God's will for your life is perfect? And what's happened to you this week, if it was God's will for it to happen, it's good. Not only good, perfect. Not only good, it's pleasing. Pleasing to God, if it's not pleasing to you. Whatever happens that God allows to happen in your life is good. And that's the truth that every person has to ultimately come to terms with. And you have to ask yourself, do I believe that God's will is good? Do I believe God's will is perfect? Do I believe God's will is best? Do I believe that? You've got to decide that for yourself. I've decided it for myself. I believe it is. 